back at uh, South High School at the Acuity Fieldhouse. We're getting ready to wrap up halftime, less than a minute left. A lot of people scored, but nobody scored a whole lot, Chris. So uh, let's go through South first. Uh, TJ Pitch had two points. Connor Harrison had four. He led the Red Wings in scoring. Tyler Gunther had two. Sam Selk, two. Uh, Eric Tetchlog hit a three, and that totals out 13 points for the Red Wings. For the Red Birds, Tanner Herman had two. Zach Rabbis had two. Uh, Max Huddleston had two. Uh, Aaron Vorpal led the Red Birds with uh, five points, and uh, Brevin Pritzel, uh, their all state player, had uh, only four points, didn't shoot real well, uh, but he's the force out there. But key thing is, South is in the ballgame. Yeah. Uh, first quarter score 15 to 13, and uh, you're yeah. reading off stats for after two. 32% uh, shooting for De Pere, just 30% shooting for South. You know, you say to yourself, oh my gosh, we scored 13 points in the, in the half. And then you look at the scoreboard, and we're only down by two, so that's a good thing. And be patient, hang in there. A lot of turnovers, eight by De Pere, too. That was too many, six by South. I have my uh, stat sheet set up where I have two columns to go down, and uh, usually that's enough. <laughs> I'll tell you, tonight I'm not even halfway down the first column. No. We might be able to finish this game in one column. Yeah, and it's a fast game, too. That guy's been a force. Yeah, Vorpal has uh, been a rebounding machine inside. You gotta keep him off the board. You gotta keep all of uh, DePierre off the board. Don't let him get those offensive rebounds. DePierre bringing the uh, full court pressure. Robis guarding Harrison. South with a chance right here to uh, tie or take the lead. Both teams have been sitting in a man-to-man -man defense. It looked like that very first trip down, Chris, like it might have been almost a box and one. But uh, I'm sure they were just in a straight man-to-man. -man. Remember that when you talked yep. about they had a tall kid on pitch? Yep. <laughs> you said, yeah, they got a tall, rangy guy on pitch. I think they're all tall and rangy yep. <laughs> compared to our guys. Selk with an open jumper from the oh. side, couldn't get it in, and Vorpal with the rebound. Set those feet and shoot. You don't have to, you had time there, Sam. Harrison guarding Pritzel, tries to slip through, he does. Passes it to the corner, and Vorpal uh, almost had the rebound. We get another tie-up situation, and uh, DePierre will get it out of bounds. <clears throat> Sophomore. Oh, Vorpal with a little half hook got it up and in. That was a nice move, Chris. So uh, DePierre cracks the first half, the first score. Harrison driving baseline, couldn't get it. Foul got, there. Yeah, got the rebound, put it up and in, and was fouled. I think they're going to get that on uh, Brevin Pritzel, I believe. Mm, I saw I saw 40. Yeah, Smiley Hamor. Yep, Smiley down there. And uh, Wes Gadke. It. Ball is on number 40, Max Huddleston. Connor Harrison will be at the line shooting a pair. Only two free throws shot in the entire first half, Chris. Aaron Vorpal was wow. one for two. No wonder it was only uh, <laughs> about 25 minutes uh, half. Uh, a little bit flat on the second attempt. It's 17 to 14. Rebound number 11 for Vopel. Wow. Good battle inside between uh, Vorpal and uh, Reclitis. A couple of big bodies in there. 
And DePierre turns it over. Not able to save it was uh, Jordan Beyer. They're gonna have to play a lot better if they plan on uh, winning a lot of basketball games. If you're gonna be the sixth ranked team or fifth ranked team in state. Yeah, they got a switch inside. Recolitis had a smaller guy on him, but they weren't able to take advantage of it. Maybe this time. Recolitis with a half hook puts it in. His first basket. Down by one. Vorpal lean in, off the glass, no good. Harrison with the board. Pitch wanted it a little sooner. He was open, wanted to take that three. Rolling down to five minutes left in the third quarter. Not very high scoring, pretty defensive oriented until uh, Self oh, breaks geez. loose underneath and can't get the layup. These are the, those are the ones you gotta have. Tetchlog missed one in the... Yeah, Reclitis actually I thought missed one. two in the first half, but uh, another turnover. Huddleston uh, walked out at the top of the key. 10 turnovers for the pier. Don't expect that from a state ranked team, no, Chris. No, not as, just how they're doing them. They're just bad passes. You know, they show signs when they can turn up the wick a little bit, but it seems like they're just going through the motions. I guess after you play two ranked teams and think you can take care of business, that's when you can get knocked off by a senior squad like South has. Huddleston's going to pick up a foul, and that'll be his second. <laughs> Jacob DeMille playing the tight defense on uh, pitch. Pretty good spacing by the Red Wings, trying to open up the floor. Patience. Harrison down the lane. Nice. Nice left-handed layup. Good offensive attack there by South. I like their patience and another turnover to Pier. And uh, South has the lead now, 18 to 17. And the ball. I realize they've only played three games, Chris, but uh, De Pier lost on the road. Their only two wins are at home. You know, they beat West, and they beat Milwaukee Riverside, who was ranked 10. A lot of contact there. Yeah, they're letting them play. Patience. There is a bump called. Huddleston's going to pick up his third. Max Huddleston is a 6'6 sophomore. He'll be uh, stepping off the floor, being replaced by Zach Rabbis, who's a 6'5 junior. So not a great deal of difference there. Jordan <laughs> Barthel's in, he's 6'2. Nice. Ketchlock trying to slide through, had the shot, looked like it was blocked, and then we get a foul inside. Should be shooting. And, uh, oh, I think they're gonna give it be? to him out of bounds. Mill picks up the foul, and that's the fourth team foul on DePier. Nice feed inside. Get Harrison in got it up and in. 20 Here. to 17. Harrison, four of 10 from the floor. Harrison with uh, seven points. Give it, make it nine. Pritzel shot. Oh, they're calling it a block. Going off of South. I thought he got fouled, there was no call. And then they let him play on. I'll tell you what, the starting five of South did an outstanding job. I wouldn't keep them out long today. Harrison doing a great job on Pritzel tonight. Pritzel with a scoop shot, couldn't get oh. it, but he tapped it up and in. Good effort by him.
Brevin Pritzel with six points now. He's been uh, pretty silent in this ball game. South has done a good job of uh, containing him. Three of nine from the floor, no threes. There's some foul there. Well, too much dribbling. He shouldn't have been Again. dribbling among three people. Yep. Feet inside, baskets up and in by Barthels. And DePier grabs the lead back at 21 to 20. Four straight points for them. And we get a timeout. Earlier in the uh, third quarter, Chris, South had a seven point run. They were down 17 to 13, ran off seven straight points to uh, make it 20 to 17. But now uh, DePier has responded with uh, the last two baskets. At 2.20 left in the third. What are you seeing? Well, you got them where you want them. You got, you're right with them. They're not, uh, they're not, Pritzel's not going off from three point. I think Harrison with his body and stuff and his lanky body is making it difficult for Pritzel. And like I said, maybe you just don't, uh, maybe they came down here thinking it's gonna be a walk in the park. And uh, we mentioned before, very young squad to appear and uh, very senior oriented South squad. And something to be said about, you know, age and experience and playing in your own house. I agree with you. I agree with everything you said. Because I'm hoping you buy the soda next week. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be two games next week. Mill uh, really amping up the pressure on whoever he guards. Miller from there. outside, oh. left a little bit short. Nice to have some of those fall. <laughs> Everybody, all of them fall, how about that? Pritzel's shot from the side is no good. Oh, oh my. they're gonna call a jump ball and what looked like the mill over the arm of uh, Tetschlag. South will have it out of bounds, but still. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, he's got it clearly, and look at that. I mean, he's got him on the arm. But that also brings up a, a, a fundamental point of rebounding is when you're a big guy with a rebound, you don't want to bring it down to your uh, waist where the little guys can get their hand on it. Well, he didn't get a hand on it, he got a hand on Eric. Nice pass, finish. <laughs> Tetschlag off the glass, no good. Uh, Tap up is again no good. Before uh, coming away with the board is Zach Rabbis. A lot of bunnies missed. <laughs> Drive down the lane and DePierre misses the bunny. Be interesting to see how they play this out, Chris. There's a minute, just over a minute left. Harrison from way outside, couldn't get it in. It's one thing, uh, neither team's made some threes. Drive to the hoop. The, uh, the pure player gets fouled. That was uh, Jordan Beyer be at the line shooting a pair. First foul on South, Marty. First one of the uh, second half, you're right. Goes on Miller. Selk and Reese coming in. Harrison and uh, Pitch coming out. Well, Coach Rank trying to give him a little extra time to rest. I, you know, I always think that you're gonna get a rest in a minute. Yeah. So. You know, I understand this extra time a little bit, but. Oh. Man. Goes off a south player. Tetschlag politicking with uh, the referee that it went off of Vorpal, but uh, no breaks there. Now Rec Lightis right back in. Yep. And give now Tetschlag <coughs> a quick blow. 53 seconds left. And the pier up by two. Drive to the basket is good. Oh. 
Ay, ay, ay. You know, you brought in your subs, and they turned the ball over. <laughs> Who'd you get that basket, last basket on? You know, I thought it was on number 30, so I didn't catch it. Give it to, uh, I don't know. Shot is up and in, that one by Byers. Twenty seconds left. Twenty-six to twenty to Pierre on top. Selk, they're not going to give him a shot. They're going to say he got fouled before. South will get it out of bounds with about thirteen seconds left. Jordan Bartles. Chris, I think that basket that we missed was on was by uh, number 33, Zach yep. Rabbis. That's what I think too. That's uh, get your feet. Never mind. Demille with a layup. Demille. Just like that. <laughs> and then another turnover with 2.6 seconds left. It's all gone south for South in these uh, last. Uh, 40 seconds or so. Connor Harrison right Connor back Harrison. in. Catch lug. Trying to get some defense back in there. Oh, we. Shot at the buzzer is no good. And we're at the end of three quarters of play in what has been a very close game until the last uh, minute of that third quarter. It's now 28 to 20 to Pierre. Did you know that your thumbs are some of the scariest things on the planet? <gasps> Every year, an average of 6,000 people lose their lives to thumbs that are used to text while driving. That means that your opposable digit is more dangerous than volcano sharks, airplanes, jellyfish, tigers, lions, tornadoes, roller coasters, hippos, skydiving, spiders, and snakes. Texting while driving is more dangerous than all of those things. So why isn't it one of your biggest fears? This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Before you're treated for breast cancer, get the facts. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. South opened the third quarter with a 7-0 run and went up 20-17. to The Pure was able to fight back. They scored a couple of baskets to make a 21-20, to and that's how it stayed for about three minutes. And then in the last minute of play, De Pure went on an 8-0 run and uh, culminated the quarter with an 11-0 run altogether. Three-point yeah. basket is up and good by Zach Rabbis. I was just going to say they're 0 for 11 from three, and now they hit one, Marty. <laughs> South shooting just 28% for the ball game. Nine, had, nine total baskets. They've had some good looks. Reclitis with a layup couldn't even get it in. And uh, Rabbis with the rebound. Pierre. 14 of 38 now, almost 40 percent. DeMille picking up the foul. Fouls on number two, Jacob DeMille. Second personal, sixth team foul. One more foul and uh, South will be uh, shooting free throws. There's only been four free throws shot the entire game. DePierre had uh, one for two trip back in the first quarter for the only two free throws of the half. Uh, De Pierre had, uh, pardon me, South had two free throws back in the third quarter. It was 20 to 17, right, Marty? Yep, South was up 20 to 17. And it all happened in about two minutes. 
The last minute of the third quarter, and now yeah, the start here. I, I, I misspoke for a minute there. Um, South was up 20 to 17. Then De Pierce scored two baskets to go up 21 to 20, and it stayed that way for a few minutes. And then when that last minute of play, uh, De Pierce ran, ran, did a 7-0 run to then tack on those four points, made an 11-0 run in the third quarter. And Reclitis uh, with an attempt at a free throw couldn't get it in. Score is 31 to 20. Pier on top. <laughs> Pritzel's had a quiet night. And Connor Harrison's gonna pick up that foul. Foul's the number four, Connor Harrison. <laughs> First personal, third team foul. There's a turnover. Got to score here. Yes. Selk. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, we wide open layup by uh, Selk, and he couldn't get it in. It's been that kind of night for uh, the Red Wings. And we mentioned he had to play almost a perfect game, and uh, they, they didn't even have to do that. They no. just have to play okay. Well, the way the pier was turning the ball over in the first half, you're right. It's gotten a little better here in the second half, but still. Another one. <laughs> 14 turnovers for the pier. South has just 10 turnovers. They are shooting 25% from the floor. And you would think part of it's the length, but I mean, South's got some wide open looks and some layups, Marty, and they just haven't put the ball in the hoop. I can think of at least five opportunities that were right near the uh, basket over the line. that they didn't go in. And then Reclitis is 0 for 2 on his free throws and commits a violation there. Yeah, he just should have let it go. He jumped, tried to jump in there. You give him a turnover on that, Marty? Oh, uh, yeah, you would. And I think he, I don't know, did he get a missed free throw? Timeout to Pier. <laughs> yeah. Full timeout, Scott. I need to suck on something to stop coin coughing. Give us a break. Timeout. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand. I still had the anger, I still had the uh, addictions, but we didn't talk about that. Came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go. Go to the VA. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people because it takes true strength to ask for help. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. There you see Mike Rank talking to the troops, trying to coax them on to victory. It's been a tough slug, especially that uh, ending of the third quarter. That was a difference maker right there. Well, Tyson Pitch comes into the game averaging almost 16 points a game. He has a deuce. Gerald Ricolaitis comes in averaging almost nine. He's got a deuce. Of course, Pritzel's averaging 31. He's only got six. <laughs> the Pure has scored 31. That's his scoring average. Yep. DeMille has come in and uh, sparked the uh, Redbirds with his defense and uh, Tenacious defense. Pierre gonna try to run clock five and a half minutes. We've seen this before, Chris, over the years. I was watching a... Oh. Gonna, Jordan Bayer. Yep, I was gonna say, Marty, I watched a high school game that was on TV the other day on ESPN. And uh, that was one of the things that the announcer said quite a bit. It's time for a shot clock in high, in high school. school. They've uh, talked about it. It's yep. been in the works. Matter of fact, they may have even tested it. Um, I don't know if it was Minnesota or another state, but uh, you're right. You know, players are becoming skilled enough. That, well, uh, I've watched it for years. Really, really good basketball teams hold the ball at half court, you know, at the state tournament and stuff, and it drives me loony when they have a lead. And 
That would take that away. What you're gonna need is someone to run the 24 second shot clock. So you need to have somebody on the table who understands the game and you know that's a money thing as you're, you're yeah. telling me too. DeMille with the tip away but uh, we get a whistle. Well this is the second drought, Marty. The first quarter South scored two points and they sat on that two forever. And now they're doing the same thing here. They're stuck on 20 for about the last, oh, five, six minutes of playing time. And another missed free throw. Jared's had a tough night at the line, 0 for 3. A Preble player went down hard. I think that was uh, Zach Rabbis. Yeah, he's trying to run the break. Look at underneath, you can see him tumble over the south defender. Yep. Good replay there, Scott. We got quite a crew here tonight. We have uh, Lacey Fister and Madison Brown, student helpers on camera. Eric Wiesman is the assistant director. Scott Mailoff is the, the director. Richard Bartson is uh, instructing on cameras as Max Huddleston scores a basket. And we haven't even begun to talk about the announcers. Chris Wright doing color, Mike Martin, that's me doing play-by-play. Uh, -play. So cast of thousands. Wow, seven. I will say this, I wish Brevin Pritzel would uh, act like he wants to be here. I watched him in warm-ups and I don't know, just something about pride, I guess. You know, I, I was one of the, you know, I know Larry Brahan, who's a principal at Cooper, he's, he's here, he's a big sports fan. He wants to come and see good players and uh, he came here to watch him play. I tell you, I'd walk away, I wouldn't, he doesn't press me a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know he's good, but you know, just as some some of it's the way you walk down the floor and how you handle yourself. He's barking at officials. And if I was to have a criticism of uh, Brevin tonight, it would be as uh, talking with the officials too yeah. much. I didn't like that, but uh, yeah, his team's up by 16. Yep. He's not having a big night yet. Nope. They're still winning. I, yep. You know, that speaks something for the team. Yeah, and. Uh, he does bring a lot to the table. Oh, I yeah. mean, even if he's not scoring, he's still playing tough defense. Oh, and yeah. He's gotten his rebounds. He does have a, a bunch of them, too. <laughs> he's got seven rebounds. And I'm not asking for him to score 30 points, but it's just your demeanor on the floor. I know what you mean. Good cut by Miller, and another miss layup. South has gone about seven minutes going on eight now without scoring any points. We had talked about this earlier. They scored early in the third and uh, went up 20 to 17 and uh, now they haven't scored in a long time. And another missed layup and another one. Foul's number 40, Max Huddleston. Huddleston uh, picks up his line, fourth. Jared Recolitis trying to get off the schneid with his free throw shooting. He's going to have two. Wow. Checking in for DePere, number 35, Aaron Vopal. Make some of these free throws and layups. Hey, You'd Chris. be uh, winning yeah. the game. Instead, you're down 17. And DePere isn't playing very well. Hey. That one in, that breaks the uh, scoreless streak for South, snaps it at about eight minutes. That was a good call there, foul there. Fouls on number 10, Tyler Ginther. First personal, fifth. I think we foul. see the peer play north, right? Yep, that's gonna be on January 6th. Okay, uh, be interesting to see that. Uh, Bob Huffman, uh, former student and player for me out at uh, Chilton, has a son who splits Checking time between South, the Sam JVs South. and the varsity, Isaac Huffman. He's number 20. Anyway, Bob stopped over to say hi. 
and uh, he's going to be, gonna be at north be full timeout. when they come down again. And, uh, hopefully he'll stop up by the booth and visit some more. Uh, he was looking good, but it is the 6th because we talked about it at halftime. January 6th, they come back. Had to do a little politicking with Kerry to get that game. That's, I'm looking here. South plays that night, too, against East. Once again, you have yeah, to, both Sheboygan teams. At home on the same night. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Be interesting uh, next year when East and West are out of the conference. Little be a little bit of realignment, that's for sure. Are they going to do away with the uh, divisions? I don't know, Marty. I don't know what they're going to do. They talked about keeping the divisions. Uh, I, I have my theory on that. <laughs> no. You mean you have an opinion? Come on. Why don't we put Ashwaubenon, on Bayport, <laughs> De Pere, Pulaski. <laughs> Uh, Pulaski and Notre Dame together. And we'll call them the halves. <laughs> North, South, Manitowoc, Preble, and uh, Southwest. South. Southwest. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, South is amping up the pressure. Yep. But this is how you got to play all the time, Marty. I mean, if you're going to do the trap, not with three and a half minutes left. Finals number three, TJ Pitch. Second personal, six. I'll tell you, the ball. starting five of South for that first seven minutes played tough, and then a couple subs came in and didn't play as well as they did at the end of the first half. The subs did a real nice job in the first half. Yeah, I was going to so, say. Not no, so good in the second half. Well, now we're going to get in a free throw shooting contest. It's a good thing the first three quarters went fast because these last Thousand three minutes four, went Harrison. Second personal. It's seven, hard to believe, Marty. It was uh, 20 to 7. Teen. Two points in the first quarter for South and one so far in the fourth. Touch line with a nice strong rebound. 315 left in the ball game. 36 21. The pier on top. Vorpal coming down on the uh, shooter pitch, and uh, TJ will go to the line shooting a pair. And I think that's exactly right, Marty. And as a young player, he's going to have to learn. Uh, number 35, when you're Aaron tall like that, just stay strong, and you might not get that. But when your hands go down, like you said, that's an easy call for an official. But when you're six foot seven, just stand tall, and uh, oh boy, you may not get the uh, call <laughs> all the time, but you know. If you're a good a good official, we'll make sure that they give the big guy a chance there. Two for eight from the line. Three for nine. Just slightly above their shooting percentage. Marty. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Whatever it is, it's not good enough. Uh, the pier got a hold of a loose ball and uh, called a quick timeout to keep the possession. Well, Pritzel's complaining, but you know what? Brevin, you did a poor job there because you dribbled, dribbled, Time dribbled, and you came to right to your guy. Yeah. And out. you threw the ball right to him. You're so close to him. Well, that's where the south defender is. Yeah. And that's why it was almost a turnover. I mean, that was your mistake. Uh, I know you're shaking your head and looking at things, but I, I thought that was a poor decision by Pritzel there. Dibbled, dribbled into the pressure, which was okay, but before you get hammered on or not, you know, get, well, and you he gotta got to give, give it up. He was right to, almost could hand the ball to his teammate, <laughs> and by that time, he you know, basically, no spacing. Was, the spacing was, was lacking there. And I was watching him, I thought I liked the way he attacked with the dribble there. See, watch, now look at how close he is. Well, and can't get rid of it. Right to the defender, so instead of two South defenders there, there's three. <laughs> Let's take a look at that schedule, Chris, see what we got after the North-South game. Uh, we mentioned North-South is uh, December 20th, that's next Saturday. Uh, then our next game after that won't be until after Christmas, after the New Year, it's January 6th, and we mentioned that's when uh, De Pere comes back to Sheboygan to play at North, and uh, 
Then we got the uh, Lutheran Christian game coming up on January 13th. The Mill, doing a little uh, Metal Arc Lemon routine where he finally gets fouled. Fouls number 22, Sam Selk. First personal, eighth team foul. At the line, Jacob DeMille. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The pier has made uh, four of seven so far. They're up 37 to 22, a 15 point lead. Touch log with a six rebound. South with nine baskets tonight, Marty. Uh, pitch throws it away. Tried to penetrate the defense and uh, dish it out, but uh, didn't make a good pass. And then he picks Thousand up a foul. TJ pitch, third personal. Checking in for the Redbirds, number 40, Max Huddleston. And in for South, number 12, Matt Miller. The Mills had a nice game, Chris. Little number two. He's uh, four points. Played uh, tough defense. Scrappy out there. Hunter Harrison's had a nice game for yes, he uh, has. South. Not only on the offensive end, but he did a great job on Pritzel. A really good job. How many rebounds did he have for the game so far, Chris? Pritzel on the block there. Seven. Seven rebounds to go along with his nine points. That is a nice night. Yep. Jump shot by uh, Pitch is no good. And then uh, Tetchlog with a quick foul. <laughs> foul number 33, Eric Tetchlog. Third personal. At the line, Max Huddleston. Huddleston will get two. Both teams now with uh, both teams are now over the limit. Who would have thought 18-point yeah. lead when uh, South was ahead and playing so well? I would never have so, thought this. <laughs> they were up 20 to 17, and they now have 22 points. Two free throws. Jeez. What about what was? That's got to be like two points in in close to 12 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Well, they had two points in the first quarter. Tetchlog forcing the action, draws the foul. One of nine shooting in the first quarter for South, and here in the fourth, they're 0 for Foul's 6. Number 25, Jordan Dyer, fourth personal. In between, they shot eight of 23, which wasn't a lot better. I was a little behind on Bayer. This was his fourth foul. I had him for one. <laughs> Next Tuesday, Plymouth comes into town and North. Checking in for South Sam Selk and Tyler Ginther. The uh, nine ball games in, and then they get a big lay layoff before they finish off the conference stretch. South, that is. Pritzel did a better job of handling the press that time. Nice pass, Brevin. Oh, oh. Hard foul by Reclitis on Huddleston. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. That's sportsmanship by Jared. <laughs> it's 
South's going to fall to four and three and one up and one down in the league. Pretty good balance by uh, DePure when you look up at the board now. Chris DeMille with five. Byer with six. Robbis with South, seven. And Huddleston Eric now with Tesla. six. And uh, Pritzel with six. I mean, granted, you know, none of them, nobody's an extra in uh, double figures, but through the course of the game, I mean, that's just the way it goes. Nine of 14 for uh, DePierre at the free throw line. They picked up their free throw shooting. I would have thought you would have kept Brevin Pritzel to 27% shooting on the night and just six points. And still and you're going to get beat by 20. Right. When about 25 minutes ago, South was winning. Tetschlag pulls up from 12. Can't get it in. I would not be following anymore. Fouls number 33, Eric Tetschlag. Reese, Michael Miller, A.J. Gutierrez, Kyle Banny all waiting to check in, Tyler Gunther. Checking in the slew of Red Wings and Redbirds. It's a good way to put it. <laughs> oh, I like the double bonus stuff up there, Marty. Wow, we. That must be our graphics man, Eric Wiesman, giving us that. I don't remember. I don't remember that ever. That's nice. And checking in for the Redbirds, number 20, Isaac Huffman. And Isaac Huffman in the ball game. Isaac's dad is uh, Bob, former Chilton athlete and student. Under a minute, long three rims out. Reese with the takeaway. AJ. AJ had it uh, taken away almost. AJ is a uh, junior. Banny, bingo, <laughs> baby. I was just going to say, are they going to end uh, the game, the last 11 minutes without a basket? That's about, Before that, that's what it would have been. Wow. <laughs> that would have been, uh, yeah, right. Well, one basket in the last 12 minutes is bad enough. At least AJ they got one, Gutierrez. We are now into the second roll, Chris. Finally. Tanner Herman on the line. That's his first points of the night. Puts in a pair. Tyson Reese. Oh. You know, even if he catches the ball, what is he going to do with a 6'4 guy and a 6'2 guy <laughs> standing around him? Dribble drive. <laughs> One <laughs> foot from the basket? <laughs> and that that's the ball game. The varsity matchup. The Pierre showing why the they are uh, number five 45. team in the state. Thank you for coming. I guess. <laughs> But they do the win it by a score of 45 to 26. School, please stay warm, uh, safely. We go through Good the night. scoring, but there's not much to go through. Harrison, I think, led uh, all scorers in the ball game with his nine. Uh, nobody else cracked that much for uh, DePierre. But uh, South took a tough loss, Chris, and it looked at the beginning through the first part of even the third quarter that they had a chance. Well, they went one for nine shooting in the first quarter, and you say, oh, my gosh, we're totally out of it. But they weren't. They were close at half, got the lead in the third quarter, and then the fourth quarter was another one of nine shooting. And, and when you're shooting two of 18 and two of the quarters, uh, you're not going to get it done. No, you're not. Uh, 
One more time, uh, South uh, drops the drops the game to De Pere, 45 to uh, 26. Our next ball game will be December 20th. That's next Saturday when uh, North travels uh, to uh, South for the annual North South game. Girls game will start at six. Boys half an hour after that. For the crew, Scott Mailoff and uh, Eric Wiesman running in the running the stuff in the truck. For our camera people, Richard Bartson, Lacey Fister, Madison Brown, and uh, for my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you down the road.